Buenos dias. We rented a scooter yesterday and we came to a coffee shop this morning to get Wi-Fi and it was very bad. So now we're going to where we really want to go, which is Carlotta's Home Bakery. So here's Fifth Avenue. Oh, it's nice and cool. Oh, it's, the breeze is fantastic. So yesterday we were looking for a scooter rental um, and it was Monday. Apparently a lot of things here are closed on Mondays, so we could not find a scooter rental. Um, or it was long delivery times because it was kind of last minute when we decided that we wanted a scooter. So we decided to go to Fifth Avenue and just ask one of the tour people, the people who sell tours, um, where we could get a scooter and literally called the, his buddy up and said, hey, can you get us a scooter? And we had it within like, that's too crazy scary. <laughs> we had it within like 30 minutes or something. So, and for $25 um, for a day, which we thought that was a great price. Yeah, and, and riding the scooter here hasn't been bad, but um, keep in mind, I do have a motorcycle license and we have a scooter at home. So if you're not familiar with riding scooters, I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's a little gnarly out here and you got to really pay attention and um, taxi drivers are, are a little aggressive. But if you're at least moderately experienced on a scooter, you'll be fine scooting around here. It's been fun. Look at the tile. All right, it's pretty dark, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but we just left Don Sirloin, and uh, what we just learned is that they are, they closed down, so Fifth is always closed to, to traffic, right? Yes. Fifth is only- Bicycles, scooters. Yeah, it's only walking. Um, but at night, 10th is closed as well. Yeah, so it's, foot traffic only and well I guess we've seen bikers and we did see some rollerblades today. Yeah I think you could still use the bike path but you can't use a car or a scooter, or, scooter or taxi. Anything motorized. Yeah. yeah. So let's give give us a quick breakdown of Don Sirloin. Tacos were amazing. <laughs> yeah. We had sirloin and al pastor and they were so good. The tortillas are so fresh good. They don't break on you. Like I think those are our favorite tacos we've had since we've been here. Yeah, so if we had, so back home in Florida, if we had those tacos and it was in a nice... Straight. Oh, still going straight, okay. No. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. If, if we had those, if those tacos were on the menu and it was in a nicer place, right? Right. They would be like three for $15. Yeah. And here they are like a dollar a piece. Yeah, we paid four sixty-five was our total bill and we had three tacos one beer that was all tonight but yeah still, like that was under it. five dollars yeah that was really cool yeah. <laughs> so yeah and i guess it, well the other thing to keep in mind too though is that you're not at a really nice place right, right? so yeah, it was yeah. just a just a basic wooden table and a small chairs and i mean it's kind of warm in there i mean it, it's not a luxury thing but the food is so good it is so it's really nice. so we would definitely recommend that. Okay, speaking of recommend, how about this dress right here? <laughs> so, I have a little recommendation for the ladies. If you have a dress before you leave for vacation, this is a vacation tip 101. But like you're feeling fine in, you try it on at home and you're like, yeah, this is gonna be my perfect vacation dress and it's fitting a little snug and everything. Like you should wear it your first or second day of vacation <laughs> because by day four, trying to squeeze into that dress that fits so well at home, I'm starting to feel like a little taco myself, stopping myself in this thing. Oh, you still look amazing. Aww. Like everybody's music is flying for attention. All right, 9.30.
for a few cocktails in. Hopefully everything looks okay. <laughs> um, but we want to walk you down Fifth Avenue and show you like, what's happening right now. How busy it is down here. Sonora Grill. This is where we have the tea this morning. Looks like a nice place. Very expensive. So we've been eating cheap food all week. <laughs> so we look at that place and it's like, oh my god, that looks super expensive. We did treat ourselves to mamitas today. That was that was very nice. That was awesome. And we were just reviewing our budget and we're quite proud of ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna have to break that down and and show you guys exactly what happened. I'm I'm like really sort of surprised. Same here. So we're like fifth and thirty-two. <laughs> so also right before we turn on the camera, we said, "All right, we're on Fifth Avenue. Somebody's either gonna ask us to buy weed, cocaine, or tell us that we're honeymooners." And like immediately after we said that, some guy came up to us and said, "Hey, you want some weed, cocaine?" <laughs> I think this has to be my one of my favorite little stretches of Fifth Avenue right here. It's just really charming. There's yeah. lots of lights in the trees and <laughs> fun lighting. Too bad they don't have a Don Sirwin right here. We would have oh been here every gosh. night. So that's been one of my favorite things about the trip is just the, the cheap food. And, and it's been so good. Oh, it's been so good. All right, this is our turn right here. Right over here. Yeah, right. It's been a big four days. It's been super fun now. It has been. But anyway, we'll we'll wrap this up, and I hopefully we can cut some of this stuff out. <laughs> maybe maybe we're gonna get a blooper reel out of this too. <laughs> but anyway, so I think just to wrap it up, hopefully you guys can see us. It's not too dark, but. Um, I think if you just if you have any reservations about coming to vacation in Playa del Carmen, like get out here now before it's too crowded. Yes, definitely. Like it's a perfect time. It's not too crowded, but everything's open. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, th I, th I mean, I think we timed it just right because we haven't had to wait for anything or like there's been plenty of everything. Like yeah. Taxis and room and nothing's been crowded and no huge lines. I mean, I'm I'm sure this place gets really busy. Yeah, it's open normally. enough to feel like alive, but not like spring break type of yeah. like, <laughs> crowd. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna sign off, but I guess get your ass to Playa del Carmen. <laughs> Adios. Adios. <laughs>